Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. In this video, let's try to look at this new API called Structured Clone. It's already implemented in Chrome, but it's not released yet. Uh, I think it will be shipped in 98. Currently, the uh, a stable version of Chrome is like uh, 95, I think. Um, to try this new API, I'm currently using Safari Technology Preview uh, because it has this method uh, enabled. Okay, so what is it? Uh, it's actually a, a deep clone method. Uh, usually, uh, we, we are building web applications. Anytime we want to uh, deep clone something, we usually use Lodash, right? Uh, just use Lodash, and there's a deep clone method, and we just use it. A structured clone uh, basically works the same. If you take a look at the syntax, the first is the value. Uh, something that's different is about the second argument. Uh, it's allows us to, to set some objects to like uh, to not clone it but transfer it so it's only for transferable object so what is transfer object it's a very interesting topic uh, you can think of it like uh, it's kind of like uh, some some piece of memory um, but we, uh, we we cannot just uh, allow a uh, different process thread I think yeah different threads access right? at the same time because we need to make safe right you access it you need to lock it and someone access it you something to lock it something like that it's complicated uh, I, 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 I'm still learning it and I will come back to to that later but just to remember uh, the second argument is allowed to not clone it because it's not able to be cloned so it's transferred it's kind of like uh, the for one it cannot be clone then we give it up or it can be clone that's the basic like deep, deep clone and third one is it's kind of it, it cannot be cloned but it can be transferred so yeah that's the second argument okay let's see what is the what kind of data types this method support uh this is the supported types or primitive types yeah that's primitive so it's just value cool but not symbols, of course. And uh, Boolean, string, data, a date, uh, regular expression, blah, blah, but it's just the binary data, file, binary data, file list, array buffer, it's raw, binary data, array buffer view, this type to array stuff, and the uh, image bitmap, data, array, object, it says only plain object. We can just write a method by ourselves. Map, set, map, just a key map, key value map, set, just keys. Um, yeah, so, yeah, if we're going to implement this deep clone by itself, it's not that difficult. Just remember to handle the re circular reference. Uh, you can see that if for this one, for this structure clone, the circular reference is actually, uh, will be preserved. Circular reference is preserved. Let's take a look. Okay, so, yeah, you can see that this... This is the original name, and he says I clone it, and uh, clone, is it the original? False, yeah, come the name, it's MDN, clone itself, equals clone, yeah, of course. Um, so, handling this circular reference is not that uh, difficult. We just uh, keep a uh, keep a map. Actually, uh, when we meet something, and just uh, just to check when we try to clone it, we first check if it is already cloned or not. If it is, we just use it and stop. So about the second one, it's very interesting. Uh, this is too. The example here is too big. Let's try to something. Try something uh, easier. Let's create an uh, array. I typed array and say new unt one ta zero or zero to like two hundred. Uh, let's see ta the buffer. We can see that byte length is one byte, right? We'll use one byte to hold the number, and there is a byte length. It's one. Cool. And then we just clone it. Uh, let's say clone equals structured clone ta, and then. If we just clone it, 
Ah, okay. C. Just to clone it, you can see that C has also uh, the same data, and also the buffer is already uh, buffer. Yeah, it's one byte. But uh, yeah, and the original buffer is still there. Yeah, but just binary data, we we'll just clone it. But if we want to transfer it, let's say const t equals uh, structure structured clone uh, ta and the transfer we transfer the buffer is the uh, one property of this typed array uh, transfer uh, it should be ta dot buffer again we can see that the t yeah it's some array t dot buffer one byte but now if ta buffer we can see the byte length is zero so it's not cloned it's just transferred the original place is already empty and just uh yeah this is very interesting uh so yeah the, the, they're not support only supported by firefox now but i don't use firefox um that's it uh, one thing about the transfer object is very interesting is that you see that the array buffer something yeah it's just uh, some some binary data but something message port could be transferred <laughs> it's very interesting right the example here is like uh, create an iframe and when its iframe is loaded we create a uh, no we create a channel our channel has a port two ports and then we set up the a handler for uh, the first port and then we post to the second port yeah I, I don't know yeah so you, if you post it it will be transferred and then in the iframe you can get this port and just to call the port uh, post a message to this port and then this port will just uh, uh, I, I don't know uh, it should be just to post a message to you, you can get the message from port one. It's kind of like a, you are bypassing, not bypassing, but but create some channel uh, without using the post message on the iframe itself. Yeah, for iframe, you don't need to post message to parent. You just to use this port. So it's very interesting. Uh, I'll I'll take a look at the details and uh, and explain that in another video. Uh, oh, off screen canvas could be transferred wow what is it rendered off screen is available in worker context it's very interesting right huh wow there's so many web apis um i cannot wait to learn more anyway hope this video helps see you next time bye bye